Hello. Today's little strategy to try and support your practice in helping children and young people and indeed the adults in your care is to walk and talk rather than stare and scare. So this is if you're looking to have a bit of a deeper conversation, whether that's that you're concerned that the person you want to talk to has got something on their mind or maybe you want to do something like performance management with a colleague or a team member. Instead of setting up a really nice room and trying to create a nice environment for a kind of interview type situation, just get walking. When we walk alongside someone, it sends a really powerful physical and metaphorical message. I'm here. I'm with you. I'm literally in step with you. It's a really powerful co-regulation tool. So that will mean that the person that you're walking with and you will begin to emotionally regulate and you'll begin to mirror each other and you'll find that feeling of calm. You'll both be well able to access your thinking, speaking brains, even if one or both of you starts the conversation feeling somewhat angry or anxious. So walking and talking really, really good for regulation. The conversation is likely to be of better quality as a result. The other great thing about walking and talking is that it doesn't make you feel that urge to jump in and fill all the gaps in quite the same way. So one of the most powerful tools that we have as the listener for aiding conversation is to zip it. When we're silent, the other person has time to organise their thoughts, to cut through the noise in their head, to pull themselves to a place where they feel able to speak again. But for us, it's just kind of awkward. And when we're doing stare and scare in a room, we might feel the urge to jump in and we might not resist that urge. When we're walking and talking, those silences come a lot more naturally and we might just be looking at the clouds or noticing that the grass needs cutting or seeing that the daffodils are coming up or whatever, rather than feeling that awkward urge to jump into this kind of all-encompassing silence. Finally, on a super practical note, um, if you are in a really, really busy job, as many of those of you who watch my channel are, the opportunity just to actually get up and walk around a little bit can be incredibly helpful to you, can help you to get the kind of cogs wearing again, bit of fresh air, and is beneficial outside of how it benefits the person who you're looking to talk to and listen to in that immediate instance. But it will also mean that you kind of bring of your best self. It's a bit of a moment of reset for you. So a really nice little injection of a bit of physical activity, a little bit of connection with nature into your day. So it's a pleasant way to spend a bit of time. It's a simple strategy. Just try it. Have a look over the next few days. You know, if there are opportunities when you might have sat down and spoken to a child or an adult and instead think, could we just go for a walk instead? How would that change the conversation? And just notice what happens. I'd love to hear how it does go for you if you try it. Uh, pop uh, your experiences in the comments below and also any other suggestions you have for aiding tricky conversations. Until next time, over and out.